will slide it along with the power supply bracket through one of the aluminum extrusion segments and fasten it with M4 bolts and nuts. First, tighten the bracket by sliding the nut, aligning it with the holes in the power supply and add the M4 bolts till the power supply bracket sits tightly in the middle of the segment. And then slide power supply with all its cables, exiting through the opening. Secure the other end of the power supply with a zip tie. Add the spool holder for the second aluminum extrusion with an M4 bolt and nut. Add the LCD full graphics display to the LCD mount and fix it with 10mm M3 bolts. Remember to remove the rotary encoder before placing the display in the mount to the then place it back again. Now fix the LCD mount with M4 bolts and nuts to one side of the third aluminum extrusion. We'll leave some space for the electronic box. We'll fix the electronic box with two combinations of M4 bolts, nuts and washers. Before sliding the aluminum extrusions, we want to fix our M3 bolts for the GD2 idler timing pulleys. Place the nut in the M3 slot in the top mount and fasten the bolt with the GT2 idler timing pulley in between to tighten it. It should be tight enough to generate some friction when moving it. We also want to place our M4 bolt, washer and nut combination for the towers in the corner side of the top mount. We can now repeat the process of the bottom frame and slide the three remaining 40 cm segments of aluminium extrusion to conform the upper frame.